I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. You know, it's time to rethink Joseph. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content. Donate. A tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us a rolling. Now, Joseph, stepdad of Jesus, his day is tomorrow. He's referred to as the guardian. And I got to tell you, there's a lot more to Joseph than you might think. When I was growing up, I used to think that Joseph was like the, the also ran. He was like the inconsequential one in the whole, um, in the whole of the, uh, the, 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 the birth account. I mean, he's not really that important and he disappears right after the birth. But as I grow older and I become a man and I have kids, um, I got to tell you, Joseph is quite a witness. I think Joseph is perhaps a really good picture of both Christ and the Father. Let me tell you what I mean by this. First of all, Christ. And he's not Christ. He's a picture of Christ. He's a descendant of David. He marries a girl. Um, or I'm sorry, he's, he's set to marry a girl who suddenly becomes pregnant. And he's not the dad. And he could get rid of her publicly. He could, like, drag her into the middle of the city for them to stone her because she's obviously committed adultery. On the surface, it appears that way. But she tells him that the baby inside of her belly is the son of God. So his intent is to get rid of her quietly. He's a righteous man to not to make a big deal about it for her sake. So even though he's probably really hurt, he still takes care of her. And then he has a dream. And in this dream, he's told basically to not be afraid to take Mary's wife because the child inside of her womb is of the Holy Spirit. And he believes God. And he marries her and he's a good husband. I personally believe that when they showed up in Bethlehem that um, no room for them in the inn is shorthand for all of Joseph's family members were like, yeah, we don't want your drama. We don't want your stepchild who's of the Holy Spirit to ruin our day. So yeah, we, I mean, you could have like a cave or a little bit of, like a barn. You can have a space, but not with the family. But that doesn't dissuade him from doing what the Lord has for him to do. And when the baby is born, he jumps into action again as a great dad this time. So first, he's an excellent husband and shows us how Christ is for his church, loving her and giving himself for her. And second, he's a great father to a child that's not even his. The baby is born. He has a vision that Herod is up to no good and is going to slaughter the children in Bethlehem. And so he goes to Egypt. Just like the scriptures, out of Egypt I have called my son. He goes to Egypt and there he stays during the, the terrible slaughter of the infants in Jerusalem. And after that's done, he has another dream and he listens to the dream and brings the child back. But this time, not to Bethlehem, but to Nazareth in Galilee. That's a lot of, that's a lot of listening to dreams and God. That's a lot of faith. That's a lot of protecting the son, the child that isn't even his. Guardian. What faith? Would that I had that much faith, both in the handling of his wife and his stepson. I just, I, he's just simply amazing. And I hope that this little jaunt into it, uh, into to Joseph, 
sort of makes that known. Joseph is not saved by what he did or didn't do. He's saved by the babe born of Mary, just like you and me. But he's the guardian of that baby, the protector of that baby, ready to do all sorts of crazy stuff in order to save that baby who will one day save him and his wife. A blessed St. Joseph stayed guardian of Jesus tomorrow to you and to your families. I'm Pastor George Barker, and this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>